Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to keep your fishing real safe. You know, uh, when you go fishing, the regular usage of your like fishing reel will, from time to time, slowly will loosen this up. The only thing that's holding your fishing reel to your fishing rod is this piece here. And as you can see, there is less than half inch holding your fishing reel down, okay? So it's just regular usage, you pulling, you stuck, or you have a catch, you know, just by using it, the only thing that's holding it together, it's this screw here, you know? So yeah, I know some of you are self-conscious, so every two, every two, three, times that you cast, you just tighten it, you know. Uh, every new fishing location is like going to a foreign country where you don't know what's really gonna happen. You're not familiar with the spots. Sometimes you go fishing on a rock because you have a better stand. But this, when it gets loosened, if it falls in the water and it's not shallow water, that's it, you, you're done. You, your fishing session is, is spoiled. Then uh, even if it's a 30 minutes drive or one hour, you have to drive back home, try if you have a second fishing line. I always carry two fishing lines with me, you know, to make it safe. Nothing is worse when you go fishing and something happens, not because you want to, but there's always something. You lose a lure, you lose a hook, something, you forget to bring baits, you know, so uh, it's more fun when you make things secure, you have a good fish fishing session, whether you catch, you don't catch, you go back home with everything uh, with you. Uh, what saved me was this, yeah, a tie wrap, because after cutting a bass, I was like so happy and, and, and so much into it, and then I felt like my fishing real weird, like soft, and <laughs> this was completely loosened because you don't see it, you know, it's it's your hands that does it. You know, by moving, because this is alive by you using it. So I realized this was completely loosened and what was holding my my uh, fishing reel to the rod was this. this. This is your safeguard, yeah. It doesn't cost a lot of money and the benefits of using this, it <laughs> this was completely loosened and the only thing was left was this and it gave me a second chance so i tightened it and i become like very very self-conscious even with the the tie wrap you know like i i usually you know like remind myself to tighten it a little bit because and the older that your this gets the more it's going to happen that you constantly have to loosen it. And using this, you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches. Whether you remembered or not to tighten it, this will give you a second fighting chance. So how do you do it? Uh, actually, this one is like very, very long. You could have one maybe this long would get the job done. You're going to make sure that it's like cross. You know, you want this at the bottom. Let me put it down. Hold on. So, okay, guys. So, when you... Man. Okay. So, you're going to make sure that you have a cross like this at the bottom. You see, you have a cross, sorry, you have a cross like this. Man, why is this moving so much? Hold on guys. So, yeah. 
you want to have a cross okay why do you want to have a cross this is 100% safe once you have a cross like this uh, since your palm is going here make you, you're gonna make sure that the tip of this doesn't uh, stay at the bottom but you're gonna put it to the side so you, it's more comfortable when you're fishing this is not in the way otherwise you always you're not gonna have a, a, a good time uh, the point is to have a good time and to uh, make it safe so we have our I'm gonna put it in like this yeah hold on and we have our cross okay yeah guys it's so the benefit of this guys out of this world because hold on and then you can tighten it all right this is your second fighting chance okay so you you have your cross all you know all you need is a pair of plier to cut the extra and so i'm gonna make sure it's tight it's tight this is tight too all right so what you do you just cut the extra like this bingo all right so now whether this gets loose or not uh, you have a second chance you know before this falls in the water or whatever that foreign location that you're going to you know this will give you a fighting chance you have it in a crossway so it's tight this will never fall in falls in the water and you'll always have a chance to oh okay let me tighten it it doesn't cost a lot of money for less than a dollar fifty you're gonna save your reel that costs a lot of money and you're gonna make sure that your fishing sessions your fishing trips don't get spoiled by unwanted stuff it might never happen to you but eventually this here with time with the water <laughs> will get loose you know you always have constantly have to tighten it you know when you go fishing you don't want to like spend your time doing that you want to like fish so uh this is how you do it guys very easy and your pal your palming <laughs> you see so your palming no problem because the soft and the soft part of your hands here goes at the bottom so now this is no longer in the way because it would make no sense to have this here so you know at least now you know you have a, a, a fighting chance so there there you have it guys it's it's little stuff tips and tricks here and there that can um that can help you you know like enjoy your investment going fishing it is an investment you bang your stuff you know whatever that you have to lose you will lose but the main part is your fishing rod and your reel and this <laughs> uh, if there are no more there are no more fishing trips so thank you for watching I hope this is useful to you to keep it safe you have nothing to lose you're only gonna like end up keeping your reel longer and forever so okay guys have a good fishing uh, session take care